Hey, welcome to another episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. I'm over at Jay's apartment again. Hello, everyone. We're out on the deck. It's another kind of gloomy day out like last time, but I don't think it's going to snow this time. No. Uh, doing another beer that I got in a trade with Ryan, better known as Stumpy Joe Jr. out in San Diego. Uh, this is uh, the Ballast Point Imperial Stout Sea Monster, or Sea Monster Imperial Stout, I guess you should say. Uh, it says something oatmeal stout, coffee notes. You can read it if you want. Pretty big, 10% ABV. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this. All right. Well, we both have straight up black beer. Yeah. Not much. Well, you didn't get a lot of head, but it's, that's the difference in glass types, you know. Yeah, I got the snifter with the big round bowl, and you got yeah. the uh, tulip with yeah. the, you know, narrowing the, top. The hourglass kind of shape. Yeah. yeah. Like khaki, frothy. What's head. interesting is I got like, look at that. I got a chunk in there. Uh, what is it's, that? It's some yeast goop. Is that what that is? It must be. I'm gonna pull that out. That's a. If you watch my review. Of oh, Ailsmith, what is that? It's a, <laughs> it's a yeast booger. <laughs> watch my review of the Ale Smith uh, Speedway Stout, and Henry got a yeast booger. Oh, it's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear it go poop as it landed on the deck? Yeah, that was pretty gross. All right, so how's it smell? It's not really that aromatic. No, it smells like a yeah, you know, like almost like a regular Irish dry stout. Yeah, that's... it's got you know some doughy notes, but and some roasted notes. Yeah, but... I get like a licorice. I'm not getting yeah. roasted or chocolate or anything. Yeah, licorice is a good description. I thought. I mean, the good thing is a 10. percent I'm not smelling any booze. No. So maybe we'll taste some. All right. Cheers. Not that I want to taste booze. But... Yeah, you get it on the back end there. Yeah. So you get like a like dry rubbing alcohol. Yeah, yeah, very much so on the back end. But I did get a, a licorice flavor up front. Yeah. Uh, now afterwards, after it's kind of coming down, it's funny that you mentioned it. Yeah, I didn't realize that this was an oatmeal stout, and you can really kind of taste that chalky quality in the, uh, in the back of the palate. Yeah, oatmeal tends to get like a gummy quality, tends to get like a more, a little more mouthfeel, like a creamier texture. This, it, it kind of reminds me of like Stone IRS. Yeah. Um, but it, you know, it's kind of like what you said on the, the nose, how it kind of smells like a Guinness or something. Yeah, yeah. That's up front. I mean, it's like a, like have you had the Guinness 4 and extra stout? Yep. Similar to that. Um, then through the middle, you kind of get a little more coffee, a little more roasted chocolate, roasted malty notes, and then... On the on the right on the finish, it's kind of annoying because you get this like really like when you're a kid and you went to the nurse's office and they put put the thermometer out of the rubbing alcohol that mm -hmm. taste. Yeah, that kind of hangs down in the back. Yeah, and then there's also like I said that chalkiness that kind of sticks around. I do get like a I'm not getting really a chocolate flavor. I'm getting almost like maybe a caramel flavor. Yeah, I'm getting like a, it's kind of a general like syrupy kind of flavor. And the mouth feels pretty thin. I thought it'd be like, uh, I thought it'd be a lot more like thick, you know, yeah. or, or like chewy in a way. Yeah, there is a, as it's going across the tongue, you get like kind of a carbonation vibration. Yeah. Poet, I don't know. Um, yeah, I did think this was going to be like thicker and stickier. Yeah. There, I mean, there's a syrupy kind of taste to it, but it's not that thick. I don't know, what do you think? Take a little break, go inside and warm up and drink some more <laughs> of this and come back in a little bit? Sure. All right. All right, well, we're back, and we both have just a little bit of beer here left. Chad's got a little bit more than me this time, yeah. so it's going to be a nice final chug here. I think I'm going to go first today. Yeah. Um, what did I think about the beer? Listen, it's an okay quality Imperial Stout. Yeah. But it's by far anywhere near close to as good as some of the top Imperial Stouts I've had. Yeah. And more importantly, for the people who said that if I like the Victory at CM, they'll love this, i got to say I completely disagree. I found that way superior to this, yeah. and not just a little bit. Totally agree. Um, the good parts about it is it did have kind of like that sticky gumminess, and the you know as it warmed up and we drank more of it, and I got kind of like adjusted to it. It kind of reminded me of like a burnt marshmallow in a weird way, with that chalky like finish as well, and also with like a licorice taste up front. But it wasn't complex, it wasn't thick, and the booziness did kind of still yeah distracting distract anything from me trying to pull some good flavors out of it. So yeah. I'm not going to go and say it was bad because it wasn't. No. Obviously, I drank and enjoyed it. But I, I, 
I'm kind of... It didn't live up to your expectations. It, yes, and I'm kind of pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what my thought was. You're but saying, it, it, I'm right there with you for the most part. That being said, it's not a bad beer. I would still no. give us a, a thumbs up. I, I, it's hard to think of something comparable to it. Maybe Stone IRS, but it's it's more overtly boozy than that. Um, there is kind of like a caramel general syrupy sweetness in there. Yep. It's not very bitter. Um, if you're uh, a definite licorice in there. Yeah. Black licorice. Um, no real coffee or really roasted malts or anything. Maybe like on the first few swigs, but I don't know. I mean, it should, this is something that should be awesome, and it's just playing good. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, like, it, we're, it sounds like we're trashing it, just mostly because it didn't live up to our expectations. But, you know, I mean, if it's a good stout, but, you know, 10%, and I imagine the bottle's probably like 8 or 9 bucks. So it's kind of, you know, from a consumer standpoint, you know. Or a craft beer enthusiast standpoint. Yeah. I think at the end of the day, if I knew nothing about this, I would say, oh, that was pretty good. Yeah. But because I do, I'm yeah. kind of disappointed. And more importantly, the question becomes, if this was available in my beverage center, would I buy it? And the answer is probably not. Yeah, I, I don't think so either. But that's not to say, I would still give the beer a thumbs up. I will give Correct. it a 7 out of 10, a good. Um, it's The alcohol booziness in it is too distracting. But otherwise, I mean, it's... You know, it's it's a fine imperial stout, um, yep. but you know, there's better out there for the men for the money. Yeah, agreed. Well, let's do so a final. So, are you gonna rate it? I'm gonna do uh, that after my chug. All right. Final chug, and then I'll give you my greeting. Cheers. As far as final thoughts and grades for myself, see the alcohol legs on the glass. Nice yeah. lace in them, my dad. Me too. As far as final thoughts and greed, look, if someone was to give this to me, I'd drink it. If I was at someone's house and they said, you want a beer and threw this at me, I'd drink it. Yeah. If I was at a bar and I had the options and my options were limited, I would turn to this. But I don't see me throwing over my hard-earned cash at a beverage center to pick this up over next to the next Imperial Stout that might be lined yeah. up next to it. So with all that thought process, I still enjoyed the beer. I was still appreciative of it, but it just didn't live up to expectations, and my grade is good. Yeah. All right, so thanks again to Ryan, better known as Stumpy Joe Jr., for the beer. Yep. Um, hope what I sent in return was as good, if not better, than this. I sent a Brown's Whiskey Barrel Porter, which uh, I, would, I think is better than this. Yeah. Um, so uh, thanks for watching this episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. And Jay's Beer Reviews. And we'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.